everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to um, those of you who have subscribed to my channel. It really means a lot to me when you comment and like. You know, it just really makes me feel really good that these messages are reaching the people that it needs to reach. So thank you for your support. And I'm doing a pick a card reading today. And the title of this reading is going to be, How Does Your Person Currently Feel About You? So this could be for any connection, friendship, relationship, separation, exes. I left it open as I was shuffling, so anything can come through. So pile number one is going to be the Lapis Lazuli Crystal. Pile two is the Moonstone Crystal. And pile three is the Amethyst Crystal. You can pause the video and take as much time as you need. Pick whichever one you are intuitively drawn to. And remember, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with everyone. And if you feel that your pile doesn't resonate, you could always choose a different pile. So timestamps will be below, and I will see you guys at your pile. Hi, pile number one. If you chose the Lapis Lazuli Crystal, this is going to be your reading on how your person is currently feeling about you. So I just wanna go ahead and pick a extra card here to start the reading. So um, pal number one's person, how are they currently feeling? And if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to become part of my soul tribe. Pal number one, how does their person feel? Okay, there we go. All right. so. We have intuition that popped out. Can you guys see that? Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. Interesting. Okay, so let's jump into it. We have ca casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Okay. Those you love, love you. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles. And you also have the Butterfly Spirit coming out. Transformation is beautiful. Okay, let me just rearrange these really quick. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see all those cards. Okay, so what I'm getting here for you guys, if you chose this one, you, there has been some type of, I think, separation. There has definitely been an ending in the situation with this person. And this could have been, I feel like this could have been um, someone that you were in a connection with and you guys are now in separation because we have the casket coming out and we also have the butterfly spirit and it says transformation is beautiful. So I feel like this person that you are asking about, they're in some type of transition in their life where they know that your connection with them had ended. And it's time for them um, to kind of open themselves back up to um, the world here. Because what I'm seeing is that your person has been struggling, you know, with the seven of wands in reverse. They've really been struggling with this idea of you two not being together. Um, they've been trying to learn how to be on their own without you is what I'm seeing here. And it's been really hard for them. It's been a challenge for them. Um, I definitely feel that with the Queen of Swords in reverse, they they know that you had to cut them out of their life because of how they were treating you, okay? So I feel like, you know, with this pile, if you chose this, your person kind of took you for granted here is what I'm seeing. They didn't really give you what you were really wanting. Um, I felt, I feel like they didn't really hear you is what I'm seeing when you were telling them like you, you wanted them to do this or that, you know, maybe be a little bit more romantic or a little bit more caring or spend more time with you. And they just weren't willing to 
budge. And what I'm seeing here is that, you know, the those you love, love you. It's like, they know that they, you had to cut them out. And it's because they weren't giving you the love that you deserved and desired here. And your person recognizes that. Okay, so I do feel that they recognize that. So I just want to go ahead and clarify the seven of wands here in reverse. So why is this in reverse? Okay, yeah, look at that. You know, you really wanted your person um, to be this king of pentacles, you know, someone that you can rely on, someone that was a little bit more emotionally open. And for whatever reason, they just couldn't give you that. And I feel that your person, they recognize that there has been an ending, but they also want to transform how they feel. They want to transform themselves into a better version for you is what I'm seeing here. You know, I think for a lot of you, they're looking at you like this nine of pentacles here. Okay. So you're someone that has been living their life. You've been going out there. Um, you've been really just pushing yourself to be okay on your own. And I do feel that your person is really missing you. They're really missing your energy. They don't want to be in separation, but they know that if the two of you were to come back together, and for you to even give them a second chance that they'd have to transform themselves into a better version, into this King of Pentacles here. So let's go ahead and just see. I'm just curious of what's blocking this connection at this current moment. So what is blocking your person from transforming? What's blocking him from being this King of Pentacles? One card, please. What's blocking them? Tell me they're one person. At this current moment, what are their fears? Okay, look at that. The Ace of Swords came out. So I feel like what this is saying for you guys is that your person is afraid to, they know that they have to fix things. They know that they have to fix things with themselves and that they have to transform who they are. And that could be very scary for some people. Um, you know, a new beginning, um, territories that they're not really used to, comfortable with. And your person is struggling with the fact that they not only have to be really true to themselves with the Ace of Swords, but it's really difficult for them to, to start from square one, if you know what I mean. It's difficult for them to um, kind of shed the old and walk into, you know, this King of Pentacles that you really want them to be here. It's been a struggle, and I see that really clearly with your person. So with the intuition coming out, it says, trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek, okay? So your person has been in contemplation about who they are, um, what their heart is really trying to tell them in this situation. And I do feel for you that your person is going through a transformation, a transition period where they they just know pound number one they know that things had ended they don't blame you for it um but they do feel guilty they feel guilty that they couldn't bring forth the love that you deserved here okay so let's go ahead and just see will your person so will your person make a move towards you let's just say in the next I don't like to go too far, but let's just say in the next month. So what will pile number one's next move be? Ooh, look at that, pile number one. We have the Ten of Pentacles, so that's that's pretty promising here. And we have the Strength card at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, look, and the Two of Cups at the bottom. So I feel like there is a pretty good possibility, you know, if you guys are wanting this person back into your life that they're going to get their stuff together and possibly um, offer you something that is more stable, okay? Because the Ten of Pentacles is about stability. It's about growth, family, moving things forward. It's about taking that next step. Um, and I do see that your person, you know, in the next month, they might be ready to take that next step um, in this connection. So let's just go ahead and get some messages from your person to you of what they'd want to say. So pal number one's person. 
What would they say to the person that is currently watching this video? Okay, you guys have two messages. We have love, beautiful. It says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So, um, you know, what this is saying is that this person that you're thinking of, they're really trying to not only love themselves and really trying to figure out how to be a better person, but they still have a lot of feelings for you, okay? Your person is still very connected to you. They don't want to be apart from you, and they're really trying to figure out how to come back. Look at that. Exactly. We have the runner. <laughs> Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay, so again, with the Ace of Swords coming out, there is a little bit of a blockage here. Like I was saying, your person is, they're open to this, to transforming, but there's still a little bit of fear. Okay, there's, this is a challenge for them. It's not easy for them because they've had, they have this fear of intimacy and they're listening to their ego at this current moment. Um, so that's something within themselves that they need to kind of conjure up and they need to figure, figure out. So let's go ahead and just get a goddess card. Remember this isn't, this is just energies of, you know, moving forward for you of what goddess wants to come out to help you during this moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on a sec, that fell. Okay, I'm not gonna take these, those are too many. So what goddess wants to assist cow number one during this time, spirit? Yeah, I definitely see that, you know, your person still has a lot of feelings for you, cow number one, but this is, you know, I just, this is a struggle for them. It's been very difficult for them. It's been a challenge for them, so, okay. So I'm just going to take the top, okay? This says Morrigan, and it says Rhythm, okay? So um, for some of you, I'm just thinking of like, like move, move at the beat of your own drum type of thing. So um, this is just saying to just to go with the flow and to feel to feel or to do what's right that you feel in your heart to go with. Um, what your intuition is telling you and we did get the intuition card over here is what I'm seeing and let's go ahead and get one more goddess for you that will help you at this current moment okay we have wow <laughs> hell which is rebirth here interesting because we have transformation the butterfly spirit and we have the casket so this has been, I can see this for you guys that are watching, this has been um, definitely a very painful ending, but this is an ending nonetheless that's going to grow you into something better, like a better version of yourself. And I'm seeing that this is um, almost like a catalyst for this person that you were currently, that you were with to help them to break out of their cocoon and into this butterfly and to have this rebirth. So that's beautiful, pal number one. Um, that was your message. Let me know if it resonated in the comments below. Give it a like. And if this didn't resonate with you, you can always choose a different pile. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more of my lovely readings. And I will see you beautiful Lunas next time. Take care. Hello, pal number two. If you chose the Moonstone, this is going to be your reading on how your person is currently feeling about you. So let's jump into it. We have dwell on what you love coming out first. Okay, interesting. We have the five of swords in reverse. So right away with these two cards coming out, I do see that your person has been heavily thinking about you nonstop in this connection here. They've been dwelling on the past. Um, they've been kind of dwelling on your connection here and really rethinking and hashing out things that played out between the two of you. Okay, so let's keep going. We have the Empress in reverse. Yep, look at that and the Nine of Swords in reverse here. They've definitely been um, thinking about you here. Um, last card, Dragonfly Spirit, Truth Transcends Illusions, card number 22. So 
with all these cards coming out, um, you know, the way your person is currently feeling about you is it's a feeling of feeling frustration, okay? Um, I feel like this person has been really trying to see the truth from kind of what's in front of him, you know, like what he's thinking in his mind or they're thinking in their mind. I'm sorry, it's just, um, that's how I, how I read. It's just energies. But I feel like your person is really trying to figure out how they feel in their heart versus what is really happening. And it's been um, really challenging for them is what I'm seeing here. And, you know, you're coming out as the Empress in reverse. And I, I feel like this person really sees you in a very positive light. They see you as someone that they could have had more with, like a family with. Um, they're really wanting um, something to grow between the two of you. But again, I think their fear is getting in the way of what they really want and what they really desire here. So, Let's just go ahead and clarify um, this Nine of Swords in reverse for pile number two. So what is this anxiety? Okay, look at that. Okay, so if you guys chose this pile, I feel that a lot of you were married to this person, okay? Um, you don't have to be. But what I'm seeing here is that there has been some type of injustice, uh, definitely an imbalance here where your person really thinks about um, the things that might have gone wrong between your connection and how I'm just getting like you are the one that got away. OK, like they're they're really up at night about this as well. Pile number two, I feel like they're not sleeping well. Um, but the thing about the nine of swords and the five of swords in reverse is that they're starting to come out of this mental cage where um, there's, they're ready to take some sort of action. Like they're tired of dwelling on this energy. Like they want new energy to come in here is what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and just get another card here for, you know, let's just see the Empress in reverse. So clarify this Empress in reverse. Yeah. Look at that. Like I said, Three of Wands, they have a plan. They're ready to take this plan and they're ready to put it into action, but they're they're waiting for the right time, the right moment here to really balance this connection out. Um, your person is, you know, we also have the card number 22 here, which reduces to a four. So there's been some type of instability here where they want this to be stable they don't want to be in separation from you they don't want to be um you know if you guys were divorced they don't want this divorce they really want things to come back together um in this connection you know what i forgot your your tea leaf card it was right over there so yeah look at that bread period of prosperity and abundance okay your person you know, with the Empress coming out and that card, they see you as someone that is very nurturing, very loving, very abundant. When they think of you and your connection, they think of you as someone that is very giving and they miss having that energy around them. Okay. I just see them really overthinking and thinking a lot about you. And they're trying to figure out um, when would be the best time to kind of come forward here. So Let's just go ahead and see. I just want to pull three cards of, you know, what this person is going to possibly do in the next month. So I just want to see what they're going to do in the next. Um, actually, let's do the next four month to three months. So let's get three cards, Spirit. Okay. What is pound number two's person? What is going to be their next move in this connection? Okay. One more card. Okay. All right. So we have the four of pentacles that came out. The, this was in reverse, the eight of swords in reverse. And the hierophant. Interesting. I definitely feel that the two of you were in some sort of um, marriage together here with the hierophant coming out. So, um, you know, looking forward in the next one, one to three months, between the two of you, I do see that there's still going to be a little bit of holding on, okay? They're at the end here is what I'm seeing of this energy where they're starting to come out of this mental conflict and they they want to free themselves from this Eight of Swords, okay? So 
this situation, I think for this person, it's going to be very rocky and kind of turbulent where they're going to go back and forth on how they feel. Um, it's almost just like, um, I just think of a swing, you know, like a person on a swing, like sometimes they feel really high and like they know what they want. And then sometimes they, you know, swing back to feeling kind of like this energy where they feel stuck. Okay. But you know, what is really beautiful here with the Hierophant, you know, this is about it could be about marriages. It could be about two people coming together. Um, I do see that there's going to be some type of outcome between the two of you where you might have that opportunity to really discuss openly about how the two of you want to proceed forward here is what I'm seeing. So let's just go ahead and get some messages from your person to you. So what would pile number two's person say? To the person that is watching this video. What was time number two? Okay. Look at that. We have the Phoenix coming out. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Yeah, exactly. Pile number two. Your person is going through um, you know, this period where they're they're getting ready to step into this new phase here. They really want to rekindle this relationship. I do see that they think about it very heavily, okay? Like a lot, pal number two. They think about you and your connection a lot is what I'm seeing. And they really want this to be, they want to transform it, okay? They don't want to have this imbalance here. They want to free themselves and, um, you know, really speak their truth. Yep, look at that, because they feel like you are their soulmate. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Yeah, so, um, you know, for a lot of you, you could be, like I said before, I do feel that the two of you are married. And if that's not the case, um, you know, soulmate connections can be a soul contract, okay? And the justice card is about contracts. And so this could just be a connection where you feel very... Um, attracted to this person because you've had past lives together. So, and they know that pal number two, they know that you are someone that is, you know, their soulmate. So let's go ahead. I just want to pull, you know, a goddess here to kind of help you um, forward. What does the person watching need to know? And, you know, this is just energy. So just to kind of help you. Okay, look at that. We have Yamoya coming out and it says release at the bottom here. Okay. So, you know, with this coming out, this is talking about, you know, releasing the old. I'm seeing that there's a lot of, you know, kind of pent up energies here between the two of you where, you know, there might need to be some healing or forgiveness between the two of you. Um, but nonetheless, you know, releasing things that don't serve you for the highest and greatest good at the moment, because that's what's going to really transform this connection. It's what's going to get them to, um, you know, they can feel your energy from afar. You know, people can sense, um, if you're open to talking and if you're not, and you know, what this is just saying here is to release, um, fear and doubt, release the past. So that the two of you can kind of transform this connection into something, you know, the next step here. So pal number two, that was your reading. I really hope it resonated. If it didn't, you can go ahead and choose a different pile. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more of my lovely readings. And I will see you beautiful in it next time. Take care. Hello, pal number three. If you chose the amethyst crystal... This is going to be your reading on how your person is currently feeling about you. Okay, so let's jump into it. We have basket coming out and it says recognition, reward for merit. Okay, do something new, something different. We also have the seven of swords, the star coming out. I love this card, by the way, in this deck. It's so pretty. We have the Emperor in reverse. Hold on a sec. I want all these next to each other. 
And we have the Parrot Spirit, Watch Your Words, card number 45. Okay. So pile number uh, three, I feel like this is a connection where the two of you kind of dated, um, but nothing really came forth of it. Like you, it couldn't, it wasn't moving to the next level is what I'm getting here um, for a lot of you. Yeah, I'm just getting that really strongly here. So um, you know, this person that you're thinking of, I feel like the way that they had treated you when you two were together was kind of the seven of swords energy where they weren't really truthful. They were kind of playing games and it's almost like they were trying to play like too cool because, you know, they were just trying to, um, make themselves like fluff themselves up. Um, I feel like it's, it's more because of, they were nervous more than anything. I don't, Feel like this person's intentions were bad towards you I just feel like they they just played a lot of games because they it's like they didn't really know how to how to date somebody is what I'm getting if you know what I mean you know like sometimes when people are just like too nervous or they just don't really <laughs> know if they have any game you know they kind of fluff themselves up and they don't realize that what they're doing is actually like hurting the connection even more so let me just go ahead and clarify the Seven of Swords here in reverse. So why is, yeah, look at that. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Your person, um, they want to they want to work at this connection um, and do something that they didn't do before, okay? They wanna change um, how they were kind of approaching you because I do feel that their nerves, it's like their nerves got the best of them here because you know, with the parrot spirit coming out, it's like they they would say things that they didn't really mean to say, and it would come off in a way where it sounded like they weren't interested, okay? So they might have just, I just feel like this person just doesn't have a lot of experience with dating more than anything, and what they're really wanting and what they're feeling towards you is that you are this wish come true for them, okay? That's why we have the beautiful star coming out. You are someone that they could see themselves with. You're someone that is that really lights up their light. And I feel like your person just kind of screwed things up because they are just, they're really nervous, you know? And what they're really wanting is to try something new, like approach you differently this time around and to really um, be mindful of the things that they say to you because I think, you know, before they were just saying things like, it's almost like I feel like your person was reading like dating rules, you know, dating guidelines, like say this and that at this time, if this person does that, do you know what I mean? Like if you guys have ever watched like Matthew Hussey, like he's one of those dating experts on YouTube, you know, or like Brad Browning, you know, and they really give you rules of how to date, which, you know, some of it can be really useful. But then at the same time, it's like you want that flow. You want there to be natural chemistry and you don't want it to be scripted. So I feel like your person, <laughs> it's almost like they were going to, they were reading scripts off of like dating books because they just don't have a lot of experience. And what I'm seeing here is that they're ready to take more control with the emperor card and they want to do something different. They want to make a different move towards you because they see you as this beautiful star, okay? It's a very loving, healing, angelic, just a very, it's a really beautiful energy, pal number three, that they they see you as and how they feel. And, you know, with the basket coming out, it says recognition, reward for merit. They want you to recognize that this isn't them. The seven of swords energy, that's not really how they are, okay? They're really wanting to show you, um, you know, this is the divine masculine coming out. They really want to show you that they are actually this emperor that has a lot of feelings for you that, you know, is more in control with their their life. And they want you to recognize that is what I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead and see what this person's next moves are going to be. Let's just say the next four to six weeks. Okay, so number three's person 
what is their next Ooh, look at that let's get two more cards what is their next move towards the person that is watching so let's get two more cards that one okay one more card there we go okay so first card out ace of cups beautiful we had the what's this one hanged man and the judgment card coming out in reverse. Okay, so, um, you know, between the next four to six weeks, what I'm seeing here for your person is that they might need a little bit more time to kind of figure out how they want to approach the situation. But they know with this judgment card in reverse, they know that if they don't make this move now or sometime soon, that they might lose you forever, okay? So they do recognize that. And it's funny here that we have the card recognize um, with this basket card. It says, can you guys see that recognition? Sorry, my lighting. <laughs> um, you know, they recognize that there is an element here about time that if they take too long in this energy, that they could lose out in something that could have been the greatest relationship of their life here. Um, you know, we have the Ace of Cups here. Your person has a lot of feelings for you. They have a lot of emotions for you. And I'm seeing over the next four to six weeks, it's going to grow stronger. You know, the way they feel about you is going to get stronger. You know, they have a lot of love for you. Um, just they have a lot of feelings for you. A lot of emotions are attached to this energy here. So let's go ahead and just get some messages from your person to you of what would they want to say to you at this current moment. So pile number three's person. You know, pile number three, I really love how, you know, they are seeing you as the star though. You know, it's a very beautiful, um, very gentle energy. Look at that. We have healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay. Yeah, your person knows that they might have hurt you in this situation. They know that um, the way that they were treating you before wasn't the right way to approach you. And they feel sorry, you know, about that. They know that you deserve more than that, which is why they're trying to figure out how to come towards you with a different approach, okay, um, is what I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead and get one more message for pound number three's person of what they would say say there we go and it fell on the floor okay we have interesting the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life okay <laughs> file number three so your person is afraid that it's over between the two of you they're afraid that you are not going to give them a second chance even though they're really wanting it they have this fear because of the seven of swords energy of them you know, not being completely authentic with you. That's the word. Okay. Authentic. Okay. That's <laughs> what I was trying to get earlier. Um, so there is a little bit of fear here in their heart about you possibly not giving them the time of day is what I'm seeing here. Again, pal number three, I really feel that your person has really good intentions and I just feel they're just the, that type of person who just, they either hadn't dated in a long time you know, and sometimes you get kind of rusty. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to act. You kind of act like a fool <laughs> in front of people. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, your person has really good intentions. So if some of you guys needed to know that, there's your confirmation. So let's go ahead and get a goddess card to kind of help you through, you know, the person watching. So what goddess wants to come through to kind of give you advice? Moving forward, look at that. We have two coming out. We have Psyche, which says persistence, okay? And we have the goddess Ran, which is focus. Okay, so with these goddesses coming out, this is really talking about um, to stay strong and to be persistent. So just really focus on kind of yourself at this moment because your person is really trying to figure this out okay i feel like um there isn't really anything that you should be doing at this time other than um moving forward charging ahead and just living your life and i do feel that your person is going to 
at some point they know that they're either going to have to speak their truth pretty soon or they're going to lose you forever. So pile number three, that was your reading. I really hope it resonated. Um, if it didn't, go ahead and pick a different pile. But if it did, go ahead and like and leave a comment down below. I really love reading, you know, to see if this resonated with those of you out there. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you liked my readings. And I will see you beautiful Lunas next time. Take care.